Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Edgar on your OpenWRT router. So we have a very great project from the team and this is the link to the GitHub, right? So right here we have a very detailed tutorial from Broken Pi. Unfortunately, the tutorial is made based on the Netgear R7800. That's why for some of you, it may not work, right? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to install it for your own device. And before we get started, let me show you the network topology, right? So as you can see, this is the PC and this is our OpenWRT router, the Raspberry Pi 4. So just in case you want to connect all the device and switch and router or AP, you may need to use a switch and connect to this device. On the other side, it is connected to the core router. So we are installing Edgar right here on the OpenWRT routers. Right, so to you Edgar home on an OpenWRT router, you need at least 20 megabyte of free storage, right? And about 100 free RAM. So if you are using the OpenWRT router on the Raspberry Pi 4 or the Raspberry Pi 3 or x86 computer then it is good to go however if you are using something like the normal router such as the D-Link DIR-A42C2 then you may need to use a USB storage and in order to work with a USB uh, there are some other configuration should be done before it, it start to work so we will make another video for that but for now we are focusing on Raspberry Pi 4 First of all, let's establish the connection to the router. And I am using PuT, so 192.168.1.1, port 22, click open. So let's log into the routers. Right, so Raspberry Pi 4 right here. And it say that on the first command, we need to run OPKG update, right, to update the package database. Or you can do the same with DUC. After the update finish, let's install wget application. So wget application is a package used to download the file from the internet. So opkg install wget. Now we are installing Edgar directly to the Raspberry Pi 4 memory, to the Raspberry Pi 4 storage. So we are going to make a directory. So it will be make a directory and the name is OPT, right? And then we are going to navigate to the directory by using the cd command, OPT, right? So as you can see right here, we're inside OPT, all right? So ls is the command to list the file and it is blank, okay? So now we need to download the Edgar package, right? So for the Netgear R7, 800 it is uh, linus armv5 however for the raspberry pi 4 if you go over here you have different versions all right so if you go over here we have linus linus arm and linus imps and window for the raspberry pi 4 it is actually arm 64 bit right so if you want to check you can hit this command uname and then A, you see this ARM architecture 64 and you need to select the correct package according to your SOC or the CPU architecture, right? So for example, IPQ4029 and IPQ4019 from Qualcomm are based on the ARM v7 32-bit. Right, why the dealing the a 42 c 2 a 32 big IMPS. Right, so you may ask me how do we identify that? You can have a look on the table of hardware and software. For example, if I search for Raspberry, 
Raspberry Pi. Hit enter. Right, so Raspberry Pi, where is it? 4 version model B. Right, so we are having the architecture 64 and then Cortex A72. Okay, so if you want to have a look, you can search on Google. And then maybe you can have a check. This is ARM version. Right, then you can find some information about the SOC so that you can see they say that it is how many bit architecture 64 bit right so that's why we need to get this package and for example the IPQ4029 this one is the habanero development kit right so habanero let me hit enter and where is it let me just have a check it is arm cortex a7 right so we can search on google all right so if you go over here you will see that the arm cortex a7 a 32-bit microprocessors so it is AM v7 so that's why we need to get this package right so now we are going to get the the beta channel so we have the beta and the X channel and actually the beta is the one that have been released for a long time and the edge channel is just like the snapshot version so we are going to get this link 64-bit right click and then copy the link location right so go back to the tutorial they say that we need to download the file so go back to putty w get right c and then right click and everything should be automatically paste in so hit enter after that right download complete now we need to extract the file so let's run tar xfvz and then tap because we're only one file so the system will automatically fill in the name and hit enter so now we have the application ready and you can go ls we have a folder right here and inside the folder we have the application all right so now we can run it directly or we can install it but before we do that let's have a check on the advertisement so let me go to cnet.com right so let's read something uh, about internet right airport 8 and you can see we have a big giant advertisement just right here so this is our advertisement and if you scroll down to the page there will be another one just somewhere right here right so we have the second advertisement how about uh, all the websites such as shoppedia right and magic excel recovery all right so we have an advertisement right here and this one right here okay so now we are going to start application so either just run it right so slash opt slash at go home and slash ad right so as you can see i just need to press the very first letter let's say ad and press the tab key to automatically fill in and now hit enter the application is started and it is listening on port 3000 right so let's navigate to 192.168.1.1 3000 welcome to edgar home get started right 
So the admin web interface where you want it to listen to only on LAN, of course. And the port 80 is used by Lucy. So we need to select another one, maybe A0, A0. And then on the DNS server, we should set it to LAN only because we don't want to expose our device to the internet. And port 35 is being used by the DNS server of OpenWRT by default. So we need to use another port, maybe 5353, right? Click next. And then we need to create an account for the administration. So event TC stand for text corner and the password. Next. No, don't save. And now the installation is finished. However, the page will be blank like this. It is a problem, but yeah, never mind. We just ignore that. And then go to 192.168.1.1 and then A0A0. A0. So this is our port. And then log in to add home with our password. And congratulations, you have Edgar up and running on your OpenWRT router. Okay, so now we have the protection stated on. And let's refresh the page. So then nothing because we haven't set up our DNS server on OpenWRT, but we will do it later. And now let me just walk you through the package. Right, so this is the DNS query, the statistics and the advertisement or the query that have been blocked by our filter and this is the top query domain this is the wireless and this is the blacklist right this is the top client that this is the device that uh, established the connection and made a request to the DNS server and on the second thing we have the general setting make sure you turn the add uh, browsing security web service on and then if you have children who also using the internet you can turn this on but i'm not doing that for now and edgar home can be in for say search in the following search engine this one you can enable and disable according to your need right so log configuration here you can change the log retention how long the, the information will be keep on the device so that's it Let's go to the DNS setting. You will have the DNS upstream server. So right here, we are using DNS from Quad9 via HTTPS. So you can either use HTTPS or DNS over TLS or DNS over TCP, which is the regular topologies, which is the regular way that we're using. So let's say I want to change the DNS server to Cloudflare, for example, then yep, we can search from here, Cloudflare DNS, and right here we are using the HTTPS, so I can use the HTTPS as well. Just copy that and paste in, right? So we can do lots balancing to lots balance between two DNS server, which is good, right? So just keep that and click apply. And here we have all the configuration, so you can take a look. And then on the encryption setting, you can add your HTTP and TOS encryptions. And on the client and DHCP setting, you can start a DHCP server with Edgar Home. But if you want to do that, you need to disable the DHCP server on the OpenWRT LAN interface. So let me just show you quickly, 192.168.1.1. Right, so this is the Raspberry Pi 4. And on the network interfaces, you will have the LAN interface and we are running a DHCP server right here. So if you want to use the DHCP server from Edgar, you need to turn this one up by click on the ignore interface, right? So for now, we are not using it, so we are skip. Right, so, and on the filter, this is the main section. So here you can add your own DNS block list or you can use a predefined list. So right here we have the add away host. So if you click on one of the link, you will have something like this. 
So this is the domain from the advertisement website and this is where this domain will be point to after we enable this. So, so for example, all of the domains will be point to your local host and then it will be not found. And for the Edgar way of working it is pointing all the requests from the advertisement domain to your local host or to 0000, and then it will become not available. So just like that. So I also want to enable this one. So just take on it and the rules count will be updated. And at this step, you can yeah, copy the block list from PyHole if you are interested and then paste in right here. Okay. So if you want to add one, click on add block list and we have two options. One is choose from the list or add a custom list. So if you want to choose from the list, you can click on this one and they will give you some predefined list. So for example, we have the regional, this one for China, for Japan, for Korean, for Vietnam. So let's say if I want to enable for Vietnam, we have this list from Vietnam. We have all the website from Vietnam, right? We have, um, what do we have? We have, wow, a lot of domain. And then, yep, we should have Zing. You can see we have a lot of Zing.vn, which is a very big service provider in Vietnam from the newspaper to music to video streaming. So that's it. Let's say I want to add the VN list and the China list and also the Korean read. I'm sorry, the Korean list that I need to select them and click save. And after that, the rules will be updated. All right. So in case I want to add a manual one, I click on this add a custom list and then maybe I will do some search on Google. So let's say right here, our friends give us some of the list, right? So where is the good list, right? Just right here, just open in a new tab, right? So advertising list, we have this one easy list. For example, we have this one or we have this, this one, all right? Oh, let's say we have the so piece of size. We have this one for example, and now we want to copy the link and then go back to Edgar Harm and then this one is spam for example, and then you need to put in the URL and click save. And then the, the, the count had been updated just right here. Okay. So this is the DNS filters and this is the DNS allow list. So this one will enable you to add the wireless website to the Edgar home. And on the DNS rewrite, we, we can rewrite our own, own domain just like a hot file. And on the block service, you can block an application. For example, if your girlfriend spent all day on Instagram and she didn't bother you anymore, then you can Turn on this one and click save. So next time your girlfriend come to your home, she cannot access Instagram and she will spend her time with you, for example, right? So for now, I'm not using it. And lastly, we have the custom filtering rules. And the final section is the query log. So once our client, the computer in the network may a query to a DNS server or to the website, the log will be show up right here. And as you can see, there is no DNS query updated. Why? Because we haven't changed our DNS server from the OpenWRT default DNS server to this one, right? So let's go back to the guy right here. After that, I have the Edgar Home DNS server running at this one, so which is the same with us. So now we need to edit this DSCP configuration file. And if you follow this guy, you cannot get the file because actually this is not it. This is not the correct URL, but the correct URL should be etc slash config config slash dhcp. However, instead of doing this, I can do it with Lucy. So we can go to Raspberry Pi 4, right? 
go to network and then DHCP and DNS so on the DNS forwarding we can add our DNS server which is 192.168.1.1 and then hash 5353 all right click add and that's it click save and apply so now the DNS request should be updated on the Edgar home refresh the page you can see that we have four DNS query and four block it by filter all right and then our friends right here also add a DNS uh, lead representation by using this firewall rule and they are pointing everything to the new port right so you can copy that and then go to your Raspberry Pi 4 you can actually run this command directly from you can actually edit this file edc slash firewall.users or you can go to Raspberry Pi 4 and then go to network and then firewall where is it firewall and then on the custom rule you can paste your own rule right here okay so 5353 make sure everything look great before we press save right so it's time to check the website let me refresh the page mm -hmm. Control f5 and c wait the advertisement wait the ad where is it it disappear right look right so let's just go down and then wait the second as where is it i think the s were gone hmm and you can see we have no s on this website anymore and if you go back to edgar home you should see a lot of data query and a lot of things have been blocked okay so how about Shoppedia? Refresh the page. Hmm. The advertisement will block. All right. And the same happened right here. So we see that Edgar Home is working fine. However, this is not the end. Okay. Why? Because the Edgar Home application is manually started which means after reboot of the openwrt router the application will no longer start um, if you take a look right here we can see that the, the application is running right here right on the cil on the cli i'm sorry if i press ctrl c then the application will stop so of course you cannot you cannot access to the page anymore right so in order to have the application automatically start with OpenWRT, we need to do one more thing. Uh, but he didn't mention right here. According to his guy, we need to install this application. But it is. We don't need to do that. So we're going to modify a um, file, which is v and then etc and then rc.local. Right, so this is our file and as always press i to switch to insert mode and now we need to enter the path to the application so just right now it is in opt sorry opt opt and then add gar home and then add gar home right add gar home add home i think look great and then once we done press the esc key and then yep right click and then now we can reboot the application i'm sorry we can reboot the router all right open wrt up and running and let me refresh the page yes it is working fine right now so we have the edgar home automatically start with open the rt all right so let me try to open some other website maybe the new york time 
and Y Tom. Mm -hmm. Is there any advertisement? Mm. Right, so there should be an advertisement right here. Right, so we see that we are still have some advertisement. Mm -hmm. But some were blocked and some were not. Right, so we can see that uh, Edgar had successfully blocked some of the advertisement, but it will fail to block a certain ads. This is due to the filter, the DNS filter that we had previously, which is the DNS block list. So in order to have a good uh, blocks, you need to search on Google or you need to find your own sources, maybe from Pi-hole or other service and then have your own list. So that's all about the tutorial. So if you see the headphone, please like, share and subscribe to pay to support me. And as always, if there are any questions or idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section. We are very close to the end of 2020s and I would like to take the chance to say Merry Christmas to you all and wish you have a happy new year. Thanks for watching and I will be see you in the next video or maybe the next year which is 2021. Thank you and bye bye.